Thank you for joining us again today, Jeremy Edwards at Cork Wine and Grill, Vintage Prime and Seafood. Today we're going to talk a little bit about wine and wine pairing with food. Um, something I think is pretty important in these days, uh, a little glass of wine to relax after these long days of quarantine. Um, first thing to remember, drink what you like. Um, even the best food and wine pairing isn't going to make you like a food or a wine that you just don't like already. Um, with that being said, food and wine do play off of each other, so you might need to cleanse the palate a little if you've gone with two choices that are a little bit on the opposite ends. Uh, the second thing is thinking about the intensity of the food and the wine that you're drinking. You want to be pretty balanced there. So if you're a big, bold wine drinker, you're going to want to pair that with a big, bold uh, food dish. Something lighter, like a seafood, you're going to be wanting. You're going to want something a little lower intensity in wine. Um, you can f figure that out, the intensity of a wine, basically, by the alcohol uh, content. So 12% below is going to be lower intensity. 14% and higher is going to be a, a bolder wine. Um, and then lastly, something that's uh, pretty key in thinking about is think about the sauce or the seasoning that's used in the dish. Uh, that will determine more of how the wine pairs than the actual meat or protein that's in the dish. Um, think about a salad when it's got a nice light citrus vinaigrette versus a heavier blue cheese. Um, the same wine won't work the same even though it's the same salad. Uh, Chef John spoke to you a little bit yesterday about a mushroom fettuccine that we'll have on our spring menu, spring summer, um, and that I think would pair really nice with our Frank Family Chardonnay, or if you're a red drinker, the Alex on Pinot Noir. Uh, stay safe, and we hope to see everybody back when this is all wrapped up. Thank you.